Hello, my name is Maurice O'Keefe. Ballin Skelligs, one of the most beautiful areas in southwest Kerry, uh, has a little village in it, and it's Dungagan. And in that village, Maurice Kern lives, and I called today to to his house to meet him and to tour the area and talk about some of the, the local traditions and uh, some of the customs relating to the area. Just stopped outside your old schoolhouse. That's right, School. Now closed down, closed and, down and, and, and shuttered and up and everything. Shuttered yeah. up and yeah. owned by a German. Yeah. <laughs> tell me, <laughs> it, it, it's a big, long building. Yeah, it's a very good school. Of course, we had boys and girls, you know. So you girls on one that side. That was the girls' and side, and this was the boys' side. You had four teachers. And four teachers four in the teachers, school. Four teachers, yes. Two yeah. men and two women. And do you do you remember the teachers in the school? Oh, I do. I remember them well. I remember them well. One of them was... Uh, because he started the football, which is, he was a Dingleman, by the name of Sean O'Connor. Yeah. And in, in 1928, he came to, he came to Ben Skillies. In 1928, and uh, he formed the team then in 1929. Oh, yes, yes. So we, I was young at the time, but, like, you know, he, he was short at players, and we, he was carrying me, like... Encouraging. I was with the seniors, you know, I was only about 14 and a half or something when I played my first game. Were you? Yeah, but you see, you, you couldn't put 15 in the field, so we yeah. had to pick the next best, I suppose. Huh. We're just blocking the cattle here yeah. from coming down the roadway. Right, yeah. yeah, this is fine. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're okay, no, they're gone, they're, they're going yeah. that way anyway. Yeah. That's the direction. But you were, um, you were playing your first match, so uh, when you were... 14. 14 and a half. 14, 14 and a half. 14 and, and half. you were playing senior at that yeah, senior. I had to play a senior because there, there was no other way out of it. Yeah. He, yeah. he said, I remember him saying, just, there was a fellow by the name of Willie Gagnon myself, but he was about a year older than I was, and he said, just on the Friday evening, he said, we are playing next Sunday, he said, and we are short too. He said, and the two of you have to come with us. But be careful, he said, because they're fairly tough men, he said. We're playing there in hand, Mick DeWire's uh, uncle's team. Oh, yes. Yeah. And they were tough men. But we played him when he went. Got through my. I kept playing since. I gave about 24 years playing. Did you? Yeah, yeah, kept, yeah, yeah. Every yeah. year, kept going all the time, you know. Well, what position in the field did you play? I played as a forward. My yeah. position was right corner forward, or right half forward, one or the other. I made up and move out, and up and move in. And uh, how things would be going. <laughs> so you you were a goal scorer, were you? I was, yes. Yeah. I was. I would be picking the odd score all, but you know, yeah. I never got the chance. When you, you were well marked that time, Mona, oh, yeah. <laughs> because you know, there were tough men out there, you would be hit with the belt that time, Mona, and now, of course, you could get away with murder. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go back, we'll go, continue back to your house. Yeah. Now, this was the field here that I played my football in, and you know, it was the school field, in other words. Just up the road here from the school. Cut from the school, yeah. and, and then the, the principal of the school owned the field, so we was coming here practicing. We used to have lots of matches here, you know, when the Christian brothers were down on the place below, we used to have a match with them maybe two or three times a week. They'd pick the college crowd in themselves, they'd come up and they'd play, so we had great practice then. Because oh, what was the name of the field? We used to call it uh, John the Masters Field. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's the only name I ever heard. Uh, was he, he was your trainer? He no, he wasn't. No, uh, John Connard was the trainer, like uh, the, 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 the assistant. The man from Dingle, because he started the football. Like I mean, well, I mean, he didn't start. He started at that time, but there was football before that too. But it had gone again. I suppose the troubles and all that thing finished it off for a long time. You know, the trouble times. They'd say that all them things were, you know, burst up for a while. But it was 1928 anyway. Sean came to, came to Ballinasloe and here they started the team in 1929. Yeah. Yeah. And you played local matches around here. Oh, you played plenty of local oh, matches. Oh, all local. Yeah. It was all local yeah, matches yes, we played. Yes. Right? You know, and, uh, and would they travel, say, up from uh, Carseveen to play, or would they travel Oh, yeah. Well, from? you see, the draws would be made by the South Kerry board, and they'd be fixed for maybe game for Bell and Skellig's mm-hmm. next Sunday. There was no Saturday football then, of course. You see, it was only... Well, of course, you had only the league and championship then. You know, you have every kind of... You couldn't think of all the names there of football. They're playing all the time, and they don't seem to be doing very well with it, behind it all, with all the training. Mm. But uh, we'd play on a Sunday, and we'd go to Kersley, maybe our match would be in Kersley next Sunday, and maybe a couple of Sundays after, we'd have to go to Waterville, go to Village, Port McGee, and, you know, 
they'd come the same way, crossing each other all the time. That's always been made for different venues. So when you uh, when you finished school uh, during the day, t- did you did you kind of pop into the field and have a game of football before you went home uh, in the evening or no? We'd happened? come in the evening and then you we'd come, come down the, in the evening, down the yeah. evening in about seven o'clock or so, and yeah. from that until night. You know yeah. because. There was no television. We didn't bother. We kept in the field all the time. You know. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. But you know, it was. I, I, I think we kicked more football when we look and you know, you know, than the it, it is all running you now and jumping and acting around there. We we had nothing but football all the catch, time. Catch, catch and kick. kick all the time. <laughs> catch yeah. and kick and hit. Oh, and, <laughs> and, and plenty of punching. <laughs> <laughs> there was plenty of that in it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Why is the some of the first big strong men on and they those young that passed, I suppose that was the other. You wouldn't get inside them if, if if they could at all. They'd bring you down. But I don't know how I I never think if I, present day I know every time a fellow goes down, he doesn't get up anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's his days down. His days down. But that time when we'd hit the ground we'd jump up higher than we went down than we were before we went down. I know there was. I never saw anyone hurt except one man. There was a fella got his leg broken here in the field at that goal there. The goal was there. That was all his uh, fellas getting knocked out. Yeah, yeah. And they, you'd hear the bangs <laughs> across the road. No bother. There were the belts that hit each other, and still there was no one injured. Today, they're all the time screeching. Morris, we'll return to your house and we'll talk we'll, a little bit more about yeah, football we'll, when we go back to your house. Yeah. Okay. We're back in the house again, yeah. Morris, and uh, we're here, and we're. I'm looking around me, and I've seen loads and loads of pictures of Kerry football teams, and there's a special one over here. Look at this one. Now, that's a Kerry team. Kerry New York team. In 1923. 20, 25, 20, 25, 25 and 26. The, 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 but you can't see it, no, the, the, the ball is marked there, 25 and 26. Now, can you tell me something about uh, those lads? Well, them lads, most of them lads now, were, uh, they were, I suppose, uh, what do you call the ex-internees or something? At the time, they came out of jail, and uh, when they went to New York, they all met and formed the team. That was the team, you know, that, that, that played Kerry here yeah. when, they, when they came out. In fact, I think they were supposed to have beaten the carry team here. <laughs> they came because, of course, they had 12 months. That's all they were doing was practicing football, you yeah. know, often they were in jail. So they... Um, I suppose because they were kicking the ball around between them and, and uh, in, in, in the jail. They had the, and, oh, and well, they, I, suppose they, I, I suppose I need... You know, they, how they, I don't know how they worked, but I know that, uh, that they were... Uh, that they, they had plenty of practice anyway. But I suppose, I suppose the feeling was poor, though. <laughs> <laughs> They weren't getting any steak anyway. I, I see a Kern there now. Is, right. that, is that a relation of yours? He's my brother. And he was on the team. He was on the well. team, yeah. And uh, there's Bill Anders is there. He's the, Tell well. me about Bill Anders. There was a story about him. That uh, Well, he, when they went over, when they farmed the team over, in, in uh, I think it was around 19, in the, maybe 1924, they farmed the team, and they had the whole lot. They had 14 of them, and they were shot to one, and that was Bill Anders. And they decided that they'd ask him to come over to see what make up the team. And he was very lazy, I think, and going. They'd have guaranteed him a job and everything that it followed, but he was lazy. But anyway, they forced him and he did go and played with him and they won. They won everything while he was over, I think, for a long time. Yeah. And yeah. he came back to Ireland then after. Was Gaelic football and politics mixed up uh, at that time? Did you have... Did you have a strong uh, political, or were, were everybody that took part in the um, in, in the Gaelic football were they also part of the um, uh, the Sinn Feiners? Well, there would be, I suppose, you know, like us. I suppose they were on both sides, you know. You had them both sides, but that was one thing that in the GA they kept it very clean, you know. They didn't allow. You know, that bitterness to come into the town in any of the games because any time we did, they broke it up very quick. Yeah. You see. But, uh, Can you tell me something about some of the other players, uh, uh, great players of that time? John Joe Sheehy. Oh, John Joe Sheehy, Paul Russell, Joe Barrett, 
Joe Barrett, Mike O'Doyle, Mike O'Doyle, Bill Landers, Portie Landers and Roundy Landers, mm-hmm. three brothers. Nearly every, they, they were all great footballers then, as far as I can see. They were all, all those fellas. And uh, then, of course, after that, you had fellas come, but I think that, that they were the team you know, of, of the, the late 20s and 30s, you know. But they were, they were great teams. <laughs> 